Hello and welcome to day 105, and I am excited. I got to see something for my own eyes, how important habits are. Habits. We all have habits. I used to have a habit of smoking cigarettes. I started smoking cigarettes when I was 14. I made a decision that I wanted to quit when I was 26. It took me two years from 26 to 28 to be able to finally quit. And now I'm 60 years old. And I am so glad that I don't smoke anymore, but that had a habit. And I still have that habit, but I put a lot of other things on top of that habit. And I don't smoke. And I'm really happy that I don't smoke because I've saved a lot of money. I don't smell like cigarette smoke. I haven't burned anything with a cigarette. There's a lot of advantage of not being a smoker. One is I think I'm healthier because I don't smoke. Got stronger bones, I don't have cancer, the list goes on and on. There's a zillion reasons not to smoke, but there's always one major reason to continue to smoke, and that's the habit. Once we get the habit of smoking cigarettes, it is extremely difficult to change unless you know how to make those changes. Now, I was watching YouTube videos, and I saw this guy that had a bicycle that was a backward bicycle. This, we all learned how to ride bicycles when we were little. Okay, you get on the bicycle. I had training wheels on my bicycle when I was itty bitty. I think I was like 16 or 17. No, actually, I was probably under five years old when I first started to ride a bicycle. Had training wheels on it. Get on the bicycle, I didn't have to really balance or anything. All I had to do was pedal and steer. Simple. So I did that for a while. I learned the habit of being able to drive a bicycle. It became automatic. Habits come from routines. Routines develop into habits. So as many of you know, I get up at 4.50 every morning, 365 days a year, with a few exceptions. So I have a habit. It's automatic. I don't need an alarm clock. I wake up before 5 o'clock every morning, 4.50. And sometimes I wake up at 4.30. But I'm awake by 4.50 because it's a habit. So when I started riding a bicycle, I had training wheels, I started a routine, I would ride the bicycle with the training wheels, I got my confidence up, I started to learn how to balance, how to steer, how to stop, all that stuff. So then my dad took the training wheels off. But we took the training wheels off and I would, I'd start and they would hold on to me and I would start and I'd start pedaling and they kind of, and they would balance me and then I would take off. And I found out the faster I went, the easier it was to balance. So then I continued to practice that, the routine, and by practicing the routine, I learned how to ride a bicycle. Now, once you know how to ride a bicycle, it's easy to ride a bicycle, unless you ride a backward bicycle. Now, this guy on, on YouTube had this backward bicycle, and you can order one. They're, they're pretty expensive, $600 plus, I think. How much did we spend for the one? $650. All right, so we bought one, $650. It's a backward bicycle. You can buy it online. Uh, there's a link down below on how to buy one if you want to buy one of the bicycles. I bought it because I wanted to show you and everybody I work with the importance of habits and what do we need to do in order to change them. Now he's got a really great video and it's also a link down below that you can go to his and it'll, it'll expand on the power of habit. As you will see, as you can see, I'm trying to ride the bicycle and I'm falling off. This is not good. I don't know that I really want to develop a habit to ride a, back, a backward bicycle. I want to stay with riding a traditional bicycle, so I'm probably not going to work on this. But there are some things in my life that I definitely want to put in and make them into habits. One is saving money. I want to save money and I want, to, I want it to be a habit. Another one is I want to be able to do the three-point commitment. I want not to cuss, not to complain, and not to, uh, what's the last one? Gossip, yeah. Three things I'm practicing not to do. No complaining, no gossip, no cussing. Now, I'm on day two, here's my band, of not complaining, gossip, or cussing. This reminds me, a lot of times before I cuss, I know I'm gonna cuss. The other day, I was in this heated conversation with a, with a friend of mine, and I thought about the F word. I thought, I'm gonna say the F word, but if I say the F word, I'm gonna have to start over. I'm on day 12 of not cussing, complaining, or gossip. And I consciously thought about it, you're gonna say the F word? Yes, I'm gonna say the F word so he really understands how emotionally charged I am about this. I dropped the F bomb, not the F bomb affair, but the other one. Sounds like a puck, but it's not a puck. It you know, starts with an F. I dropped the F bomb. After, we were, after the conversation was over and everything, I said, well, I guess I'm on day one. 
He said, why are you on day one? I thought you were on day 12. I said, well, I was, but I dropped the F-bomb. He said, you did? He didn't even hear it. So it really didn't have the impact that I wanted to have. Habits. How do we develop great habits is through routines. Having great routines will give you great habits. And then the law of compounding. We need, a, here, here's a problem I have. I sabotage my success. Do you sabotage your success? Have you gone out with, with, a, with a girl and you're really, if, or if you're a guy or whatever, if you've gone in a relationship, I want to be politically correct, or what is it? Yeah, is that the word? Politically, okay. So if you're going out with somebody and everything's going really, really good, you know, and, and, and you're thinking, oh, this, this could be the one. And you're supposed to pick her up at eight o'clock and you think, well, I'll just pick her up at 820. I've got a few things I want to do. I'll be late. So you're late. And you get there and she's like really offended because you were 20 minutes late and you really don't have a good excuse. You're kind of taking it for granted and the relationship's over. I self-sabotage. I start saving money. I put it into a savings account and then I got to have this thing, whatever this thing is. And I go and I withdraw all the money out of my savings account to go get this thing. When that's not the objective, the objective is to have financial positive net worth. Smoking cigarettes. When I quit smoking cigarettes, I went a month without smoking, a month without smoking. And then I picked up the cigarette again. I was on my way to success. When I was younger, I had a great job. All I had to do was show up to go to work. My boss was a good boss. It was a good product. Everything was good at that company. And then I would sleep in. I would self-sabotage. How do we see ourselves? Do we see ourselves as successful as winners? Or do we see ourselves as always starting over? All, being a loser. I hate to use that word, but being a loser. So when I have a negative experience, when I have a negative result, what I need to really do is learn from that result and take action. I need to have the idea of what I want to accomplish. I need to take action and I need to stay committed. If you would like one of these reverse bicycles, like I said, you can go down below. There's a link to it where you can go buy one. The video I really recommend you watch. And if you want to borrow my reverse bicycle, just give me a call. Let me know and we'll bring it over to you. Or you can come get it, one of the two. Thank you very much and I hope you have a fantastic day.